Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. We are going to be getting our corn planting. Oh, and I don't have it dropped down. Uh, we are going to be finishing up planting our corn today. And we're going to get started on rolling our corn fields. <clears throat> and uh, get some stuff taken care of. There we are. Now we're planting. Um, yeah, so finally getting this field done. Definitely a very uh, good feeling. We only have one more pass left. And then we are done. And we've got our three fields of oats and our two fields of corn all planted and done with. And then we'll be able to... Uh, get our rolling done and uh, then we should be good I think for a little bit I think we are gonna have to end up doing some spraying but we will uh, see oh, I turned a little too sharp there we will uh, just have to see how things go We are definitely going to have a lot of grain. So I did, uh, if you guys remember in yesterday's video, uh, I mentioned that I was going to get a hold of some grain bins. Um, I did happen to find some. Uh, there are some down in the States uh, that I found. There are some Meridian bins down there that uh, <clears throat> are more or less assembled. Uh, they just got to pour a concrete pad. So we are probably going to get those brought up. Um, and we did actually find someone that wants to buy these Roscoe bins. They are local here. So they uh, we're going to talk to the bin company and see about having them take out the concrete and uh, move those bins to their farm when they bring us our new ones. So that would be a good thing. Uh, then we wouldn't have to worry about them. So we will see. Uh, still working out some details with them, guys, for the bins. So uh, nothing set in stone quite yet. But we are getting there. So we're going to get hooked up to this fancy new roller here that we've got. We're going to take it out for a spin. Head on up to um, our field 29 there, or 28, whatever it is. And we're going to get it rolled. At some point, uh, got to... Get some stuff in the yard cleaned up. We kind of got a mess going. It's kind of uh, a little bit of chaos. And this thing is pulling so weird. I'm 
not exactly sure of why. I don't even know if, if I've used this roller all that much. To be honest with you guys. I don't really think I have. I know I've used the uh, Degelman roller quite a bit. But I don't think I've used this larger Mandaco. I know you guys have seen... Uh, we've used the smaller Mandaco quite a bit. But uh, we haven't really done much with this one. I don't know if it's just the way it's rolling or what. But we're going to just uh, head on over here and get rolling. All right, I get this big monster unfolded here. Oh. We got a little bit of a fence line there. Did not realize that. Oh. And lower it, and away we go. Perfect. So this should kind of help us out here a little bit uh, with our rolling. Kind of cut down on our time just a little bit. ahead and bring this back up and we're going to see if we can perfect we'll get a uh, GPS line ready and when we get along that straight edge there we'll set it up so in addition to the new bins coming um, I did also put in a phone call to a company to see about getting a couple of hopper bins for our seed and solid fertilizer, um, and then also a bin for storing lime. Uh, they were going to check into it and see if they had anything uh, coming uh, here relatively soon. They didn't have anything sitting uh, available in their lot at the time. So they were going to check it out and see if they could get their hands on something uh, relatively soon. And they were going to get back to me. And uh, we have also been looking. Uh, I've been trying to find some chemical uh, tanks. 
um, for our liquid fertilizer and our herbicide and uh, also looking into a bit bigger uh, fuel system so we may be able to find something so a lot of uh, potential changes or changes additions uh, to the yard are in the works and uh, they will be coming soon hopefully that way we can get everything done and then we'll be set up for fall and spring and just kind of have everything taken care of We may not end up filling the, you know, everything right away. Um, you know, we may put the bins up and then we may not uh, do anything as far as filling them until later on this year. Uh, we'll see. It'll just kind of depend on how much all of this runs us. Um, let's see here. Do we have... Okay, that's that new deal that I had. So we have $505,000 of loan right now. So it would be nice to, uh, not have to take out any more of a loan to get ourselves set up. Um, but... We'll see. We'll just kind of have to s wait it out and see what happens here once we uh, get some quotes and whatnot back on some of this stuff. Uh, for sure, the new grain bins are definitely going to be a must uh, with the amount of uh, crop that we are putting in the ground and looking at potentially harvesting we are definitely not going to have enough storage with our current uh, setup so we're going to want to get something figured out here. I think we could use a little bit more horsepower on this, but I think she'll do all right. About two more passes and we'll be done and out of this field already which is very nice. Definitely going to help us with uh, getting things done a little faster around here. We may have to uh, look into picking one of these up ourselves, either a Mandaco or a uh, Degelman, one of the two. 
Um, I think they're pretty close in size. If not, I think the Degelman might be bigger uh, by a little bit. I don't exactly remember. Let's take a peek here while we're heading down. Okay, so this one is 22.9, and this one is 24.4. So we might uh, potentially look into the ma the uh, Degelman here, and it's actually cheaper going that route as well. So by quite a bit. I don't know if that price is quite right, but. last pass of this field and we'll be able to move on over to field uh, one there should be a pretty good harvest this fall uh, we've got very good nutrient levels in the ground, and uh, we've got a lot of corn and a fair amount of oats. So I think we should do pretty well. Big girl struggles at times, but she's doing it. Perfect. We'll get her raised up and folded. And there we are. Head back to the farm here. I think we're just going to go ahead and start right up here. And shift this course over here. There we go. Let's get this thing unfolding. And we're just going to back it up there into the corner and set it down. We'll follow this line down. We'll have to uh, move our seed tender when we get to it. 
still uh, sitting down there in the corner, so, or maybe not down in the corner, but it's along the edge there. And away we go. Let's see what kind of flex this thing has going over this. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think we are catching on that fence just a little bit there. Which is funny because our collision is not even, shouldn't even be right there, but. See if we can't shift the course over just enough there. There we go. Think that'll work. Fences are way too close to the edge here. Might have to uh, go in and run a strip of grass around this field at some point just to kind of get it away from the fences a little bit. We'll get just past this approach here. And yeah, let's get our tender here moved. We're just going to pull it off over here to the approach. And we'll get it moved off back to the yard here at some point later on. Right now, our main focus is getting this field done. And then, too, if we get a seed bin, we can dump what's left of the tender into that bin. And then we can also empty our gravity wagons into it. Then we don't have to keep uh, things filled up uh, over the winter. Uh, I mean, the planters will probably leave filled. Probably won't worry too much about those. But uh, the trailers I would like to get emptied. Catching on that tree there a little bit.
This is definitely going to be quite the field to combine. I'm actually I'm kind of excited to combine this field. I'm curious of uh, just how much crop we are going to end up pulling off of this field. I, I have a feeling it's going to be a just insane amount of corn that we end up pulling out of here. Which I am perfectly okay with. I will gladly take it. We could use a good chunk of change. It would uh, allow us to expand our operation, both equipment and land-wise. And uh, get us one step closer to um, expanding into cattle, should we decide to. It'll uh, get us one step closer to being able to afford that. This end of the field is definitely a pain. Yep. We're catching on everything. This first round is always the worst. Especially with a new piece of equipment. Then you don't know where you gotta be. All that fun stuff. I do like the uh, new update to the autosave mod. It now gives you a heads up that uh, autosave is coming up. I think it gives you a 15 second warning, 10, something like that. Excuse me. See if we can make this corner without swinging it all the way over into the fence. We can, but we're ending up missing a little bit. Which is alright, because we're going to have to back up here anyways. Ooh. See now we're right up against this fence and it's not even not even doing anything. So I don't know. Oh there there it is. Spoke too soon. Guess I should have kept my mouth shut. But alrighty, guys, I think that is going to about do it for today. Uh, I'm going to get most of this field finished uh, so that way we can come back and we can get this machinery cleaned up, 
get it set aside so it's ready for the dealership to come and pick it back up and then uh, we'll get all of our other machinery put away we got to clean up the 47 and our 1770 and uh, get that put away and everything else put away so that we are ready to move on to the next task whether it's spraying or harvest thanks everybody for watching hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to smash that thumbs up button and uh, as always, we'll see you all tomorrow.